We turn now to a community mourning a Pontiac man known for trying to catch online sexual predators. Her name, his name is Robert Lee. He's also known as Bupak Shakur, and he had a large social media following. He would pose as a young girl online and record confrontations with accused predators that he communicated with. But investigators say one of his confrontations ended with his death. It happened at Universal Coney Island in Pontiac. 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell joins us now live from outside the Oakland County Sheriff's Department with how the community is remembering Lee. Peter. Well, the victim in this case was very well known in Pontiac and very well known to law enforcement for trying to protect children from online predators. Back in January, 7 Action News spoke with Robert Lee, also known as Boobox Shakur on social media. I talked to a lot of victims and they appreciate what I do. For just over a year, Lee, a Pontiac native, used the power of social media. There, he'd pose as an underage girl to catch sexual predators. He was really dedicated to this. The conversations that he had with them would then be forwarded to police, and sometimes Lee himself would confront the would-be predators and even recording those interactions and then posting them on social media. And this video has almost 3,000 views. Certainly he was a very well-intentioned person, you know, very much in alignment with our philosophy. We want to see uh, child predators taken off the street, held accountable. We want to protect kids. Lee was killed late Friday night inside Universal Coney Island near North Perry and MLK Boulevard in Pontiac. The Sheriff's Department says Lee confronted two men ages 17 and 18 inside the restaurant, even accusing one of the men of being a pedophile. The confrontation escalated very quickly and ultimately the second individual in the booth produced a uh, firearm and shot him uh, multiple times. After an intense search, police arrested the two men involved in Lee's shooting on Saturday. The names of the men have not been released because formal charges have not been filed. Sheriff Bouchard says Lee's work has led to the arrest and criminal charges of several men, including an Oakland County Sheriff's deputy last year. Sheriff Bouchard says the work that Lee did can be very dangerous and does not recommend that people confront predators. Oftentimes, if you actually corner a predator, sometimes they become violent. They get trapped, they, you know, try to get away using any means at their fingertips. And the Oakland County Sheriff's Department is expected to turn the case over to prosecutors sometime today. And once we learn the names of those two men, we'll be sure to update you. Reporting in Pontiac, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. Such a sad loss for the community. Peter, thank you.